welcome back to my youtube channel my name is noi today i'm gonna show you how you can solve this problem as you can see this problem is question number five from addis Ababa university engineering student assignment so today we will solve this problem and on the next video we will solve uh, the next problem which is question number six before starting this tutorial if you are new for the question you make sure to subscribe our youtube channel in order to access every engineering problem solution that are very important for engineering for uh, and also for high school and preparatory student as you can see here uh, this problem is uh, about the uh, motions of a constraint particularly the motions of deep the one particle is depend on the motions of another particle and we can solve this problem based on that concept so before uh, uh, doing anything first we can draw the free word diagram of this problem if it's a hydraulic hydraulic cylinder h here we have a hydraulic cylinder then it, it we can represent this h and drawn road bc here we have a road bc style length and with a speed of two feet per second determine the speed of a here we have a then this is connected with this uh, a here we have a pulley and this is with connected by this link so we are asked we are asked to determine the, the speed of the cylinder a and we are given the speed of the road bc which is uh well, the hydraulic cylinder h which is two feet per second then the length is total length is given here as you can see this is a free word diagram from here to here we have sh and also we have another sh so the total you have to sh and from here to here we have sa so from here to here means from here to here we have sh from here to here plus we have two sh so total length is equal to sa plus to sh then the time derivative of the above equation is expressed as the acceleration or the velocity of vector on this chapter of this dynamics the time derivative of vector is a very important concept in order to understand this concept properly so we must be careful while calculating different things when by using the concept of the time derivative of vector it vector may be acceleration position velocity or other so when you can do this time derivative of this equation you will get acceleration and velocity of block a so when you can take this time derivative VA plus 2VB which means when this differentiate with respect to T you can the velocity of A when differentiate to SV with respect to T when to H you will get this value and this length is constant which means the length of the cable is constant this uh, cylinder may be move in this direction and the length is here increase when the cylinder move in this direction this length increase but the length, total length of this cable is also constant so the derivative of l is zero so va is equal to minus vv by while rearranging this equation and given that velocity of h also be given here we can simply start the value here and by substituting this value we will get minus four feet per second it is very simple problem first we can do the free work diagram then we can uh, draw the equation of line by using the procedure by drawing the dantam line or other things finally you can substitute the given value two feet per second and the equation you can find and the, after this file the uh, substitute the value and get your final answer in final answer is all our question number five you have any question you can put it in a comment section next you will do the next problem which is question number six and question number seven and uh, until that have a nice time if you like this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and share it for your friends <laughs>